everyone welcome to the channel where we are discussing the terraform in detail in our previous episodes we have discussed about setting up the values in your terraform configurations we have discussed how do you use the terraform.tf file which is a reserve file we have also discussed about environment specific terraform reserve file, terraform tf files and then we have also discussed that discuss about the auto.tf where file which is a reserve suffix for setting up the values in this episode we will discuss about the environment variables with the terraform configuration we will see how to set the environment variables in terraform for your terraform variable configuration and why do you need that first of all so let's say we have a requirement wherein your Terraform configuration contains some of the sensitive information as in variable, for example, the service principle username and password as a variable. Now, if we pass those variables into a Terraform.tf files, for example, here, if I pass the client ID and password values here in this particular file as in plain text, then I'll be compromising some, some of the most critical information as the service principle details in a plain text because this file is going to be checked into my source control repository and it will be available to all my developers and that is something I do not want. So in that case, the other option we have is to pass the value of those variables as in command line. So we have two options to pass the value of the variables as in command line is one is to pass it through the Terraform plan file, plan command. So in the Terraform plan command, we can pass the variable values like we were passing the variable file name or file path. Similarly, we can find the individual variable values as well. And the other option we have is the pass the value or the set the value as an environment variable and then Terraform will automatically detect the value of those variables from the environment variable and then it will provide the or access the value from the environment variable. I'll show you both the ways in this demonstration. So let's say I have a variable called the client ID and client secret. These are the two variables which, a, which are basically uh, which, which are going to hold the sensitive information on my Terraform configuration. I don't want to expose this as in the Terraform variable files. So to pass the variable values, what I can do is I'll just first of all open the terminal on the Visual Studio code like this. And if I run the Terraform plan, then I do have option as in var dash var and then you can pass the name of your variable, for example, client ID, and then I can pass the client ID value. Environment env user details, something like that, some, some value of my client ID. Similarly, in the next variable, I can pass it as where, then client secret, and then I can pass that particular secret value pass at the rate XYZ some passwords. Now if I run the Terraform plan as is by providing the value, this will take the value and use it in my Terraform configuration. This is where I'm just returning the value whatever I have this variable holds. I'm just printing out just for the demonstration. Of course, in the actual users, you are not going to display the values in the plain text, but this is just to show you demonstration that we are able to access those values which we have passed from the command line. We are able to use it. This is the first way to pass those values. Good, right? Now, the other way we have is to set as an environment variable in case if you don't want to pass it from as in command line. So how do we do that in the Terraform is in the Terraform configuration, you have a reserve keyword called the TF underscore var underscore, and then you can use this prefix to inside 
on your variable name for example if i have a variable name as username then i can create a environment variable with tf underscore var underscore user underscore name and then i can set the that particular variable as an environment variable by running this particular command on my windows if i'm using a windows so i can use the set dash item and then the path of the item which is the name of your environment variable using the env colon and then then your environment variable name and the value of that environment variable if you are using linux or mac then you can simply use the export command to set the value of your environment variables as i am right now using the windows so i'll be using this particular command for the demonstration i'll run the user id just to retrieve the value just to validate whether the value is set or not i can simply run this variable with as any environment and as you can see that we are returning the value or we, we are receiving the value as user at me which which is what we have set next variable i'll set again as the environment variable again i will try to validate this just to read it in case if you want to validate i'm getting the values now now Finally, we are ready to run the Terraform plan command. So again, this, this time, if, if you see, I'm just running the Terraform plan command. I'm not providing any values as in dash variable file or dash var or even those, those values are not being defined here in the in Terraform dot variable file. So there is no other way apart from the environment variable file. So let's see what values Terraform takes in this case and what it does, what it displays. As you can see that Terraform is intelligent enough to read the value of those variables as an environment variable, what we have set up in our Windows platform. So from the operating system where this program is running, it is taking the environment variable. And this is really, really helpful or this is really, really useful in case if you would like to pass some of these critical values and don't want to save those values in your Terraform configurations. I hope you have found this useful. I'll be saving this demonstration on my GitHub repository in case if you want to refer it where I have all the documentations. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.